Well, well, well. Guess who's back in the motherfucking house? And if you don't know who I am, my name is Perry's Ratliff. And I have hands down the greatest back page stories of all fucking time. Me and my dick have been on some extraordinary adventures and I am not ashamed to walk this planet as the man I have become. I admit it, I love hoes, okay? And hoes love money. They don't love us guys, they love money. But if you have money, you can convince yourself that maybe the hoes really do love you. <laughs> And even if they don't, that's okay. It's fine. The hoes don't have to love you. They can love your money because you are an extension of your money. So really, they do love you too, I guess. I, you know. But uh, but fuck all that, man. I have a very, 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 very special treat for you motherfuckers today something that has never happened on back page stories before has happened and i cannot wait to share it with you motherfuckers but first but first <laughs> i want to tell you guys a quick story because i like to give you a little something before i give you a little something you know sort of like fucking uh, the, the biscuits from Red Lobster, you know, before the real shit comes, you know, they give you just a little something to hold you over, like, maybe, like, a little Caesar salad or some shit, um, so, one of the homies, um, on here that listens to my stories and shit, he hit me up and he asked me, have I ever been scammed while fucking around with this pay to play shit and you know what that was a really good question because I have and I'm about to swiftly tell you guys a story um right now and also I want to give you guys a, a few pointers on how not to get scammed and you know shit to look for so you don't get fucked over like I did because when I started this whole you know pay to play escort shit there was no guide and you know that's why i'm here you know i guess to somehow <laughs> make the world a better place because there was no how to book there was no how to back page book so that's why i'm here like i said to make the world a fucking better place so um how should i start this well let me see well okay so just like how most of my stories start out um what was i doing i was browsing through backpage right it was on backpage it was on fucking craigslist nah i was definitely on backpage i was browsing through backpage right now looking for some meat but a spell came over me where I had an urge for some white delight. <laughs> I wanted to take a break from the hood bitches and get me some suburban snatch. But of course, everybody knows how hard it is for a black man like myself to get a little pay to play action from a white bitch. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be real. It's starting to get hard for a nigga to fuck a black bitch. For just a little change. Bitch, I know your black ass didn't post no black men. What? Bitch, your mattress is on the floor. Only hoes with headboards can be picky. And you know what? Fuck it. Fuck some of those hoes too. Look at your kitchen, bitch. How dare you? But anyway, um, I was willing to slightly creep over my $80 limit and I was willing to go up to uh, like maybe a hundred and thirty dollars and I know that's a lot of money 
but I needed some colonizer cooch in my life. So I said, fuck it. And um, I'm browsing and shit, right? And I came across this picture of this 24-year-old blonde bitch. And I had to have it. So I read the bitch profile. And to my surprise, it said nothing at all about no black guys, right? So I'm looking at the pictures and shit. And she had some of those... um. You know those fucking I'm in the bathroom selfies and shit. And she had some of those, hey, look at me. I'm laying on the bed after shower selfies and shit like that. So, I mean, everything looked fucking legit to me. So, I sent a bitch a text. And I'm pretty sure I said some shit like, um, are you available? Because that's one of the two ways that I like to kick. Um, I like to kick shit off with these hoes. Um, I think I told you guys before that my other way is just me texting a bitch the letters QV and then 60 and then question mark. And then I see like if they bite on that 60 and sometimes they do. But if they don't bite on the 60, you know, they definitely bite on the 80 for a QV 95% of the time. They will bite on the fucking 80. And if you don't know what a QV is, QV stands for quick visit. Okay? So just to say it again, I usually text a bitch QV and then I text 60. You know, the 60 is with a question mark. You know, and most times, you know what I'm saying? Um, I wouldn't say most times, but like I said, sometimes hoes be like, yeah, I can do a quick visit for, for, uh, for 60 how long you know what i mean i'm like yo bitch all i need is really 15 but shit i can do it in 10 and they usually agree on the 60 but you know some hoes want to be fucking bougie and they're like no i need at least 80 for 10 minutes well i'm like bitch what but you know 80 minutes be honest fuck it i don't even need fucking 10 minutes all i really need is about five i probably can yeah about five dozen but anyway, um, so, you know, I texted that shit, and then she hit me back, and, um, and she was like, um, yeah, I'm available, so I was like, oh, shit, and so then, you know, I was like, um, let me, let me just keep it real with this bitch, because I wanted to avoid all the possible bullshit that could come up in the near future, so I said, fuck it, man, I texted back, I said, I'm black, by the way, laughing emoji, okay, because I just want to make sure, because you never know how this white pay-to-play pussy works, you know what I'm saying, she could be like, oh, well, you know, I don't fuck with no black guys, or I could get there, you know what I'm saying, and she tried to ghost me, because this shit happened to me before, man, I got to a fucking hotel to fuck with a bitch, it was downtown fucking Chicago, and this bitch was hiding out in the cut. And I'm walking around the fucking uh, lobby of the hotel. I'm like, bitch, I'm here. And then she was like, uh, no, I'll pass. I'm like, what? She was like, you didn't tell me you was black. I'm like, bitch, you didn't ask. And I didn't even see where the bitch was. The bitch was hiding somewhere. I was looking at patrons and shit. I'm like, are you one of these bitches? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bitch, I'm not going to kill you or rob you, bitch. I just want some puss. But she just stopped fucking texting me. Um... And I had to fucking go home, man. And I was down in fucking downtown uh, Chicago, uh, fucking rush hour traffic. I was mad as fuck, man. But anyway, um, so I texted that shit that I'm black, you know, um, uh, laughing emoji. And then she texted me right back. She was like, that's fine. And then she hit me with a follow-up text. She was like, $100 for a half. I was like, huh is this, is this real, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I wanted to text her back, like, bitch, are you bullshitting, because this bitch looked amazing, you know what I'm saying, uh, so, so she hit me back, and I, I was, I was very surprised, man, I'm about to get a, like, a fucking quality white bitch for a hundred dollars, for a half, a half is 30 fucking minutes for a hundred dollars, 
bitch, I was willing to pay 80 for 10 minutes. So, um, I hit the bitch back, right? And I asked her for her fucking, um, her fucking GPS. And then I just headed her fucking way, right? And this bitch, this bitch was way out fucking north. You know, because I live like in a in a fucking inner city and shit, and she was way out north. So it was like a fucking fifty minute to an hour drive from where I was. And this this the fucked up part about the whole shit, man. It was hot than a motherfucker outside. My fucking AC wasn't working and shit. I mean, I was trying to preserve the freshness of my balls, but the sun was like, "Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you and your nuts." And I could feel the sweat bubbling underneath my sack but luckily i made it to my destination and my balls were still in fucking tact i got a cold by the way i'm trying to fight through this fucking cold uh so i hope i hope you guys are fucking hearing me properly man um i just want to throw that out i'm trying not to fucking sniffle and shit i've been battling the fucking cold for fucking um i don't know like fucking six or seven motherfucking days man that's why because i've been had this shit i've been wanting to do this fucking shit man i i I fucking had this treat for you guys a fucking few days ago but i just i couldn't speak properly but anyway like i said luckily i got to my fucking destination and my balls went tag right and here's a power tip fellas for your balls always have a small thing of baby wipes or wet wipes or just some 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 type of cleaning shit well you know for skin in your fucking car at all times you know what i'm saying just in case the freshness escapes your balls while you are on a fucking uh, a fucking uh pussy mission because the worst thing that can happen is you get there and you done fucking sweat it off the freshness of your fucking balls. Because first impression is everything. I mean, just, okay, think about it like this, right? Hoes talk about men the same way that men talk about hoes, okay? Just like how we talk to our homeboys and shit about these bitches. They talk to their homegirls the same way. They be like, girl... This nigga came over here and his balls was smelling like a hamster cage. There's no reason for your balls to be catching that type of smoke from these hoes, man. So always keep something to prepare your balls for a little action. All right, so I get to my, um, (laughs) I get to my fucking destination and when I got there, I was like, what? Because it was a big ass brown hut. And I've been trying to remember what the fuck uh the, the fucking name was on the fucking hood so I, on the fucking hut so I could put their ass on blast, but I cannot remember what the fuck that fucking hut said, man. Whole time I'm thinking I'm going to a bitch's house or I was going to a fucking hotel or some shit. I was going to a fucking hut. This place was screaming sting operation, but I was so fucking horny that my legs felt unstoppable, okay? I mean, they could have me, but only if they could catch me. (laughs) So I went inside the hut. (laughs) And I feel like I told y'all this shit before for some reason, man. I I told somebody this shit. I, did I tell y'all guys this shit? Maybe I'm tripping, man. I definitely told somebody this fucking story before, man. But anyway, I walk into the hut, right? And when I walked into the motherfucking hut, it was three big ass signs that said, smile, young camera. And in my head, I said, oh shit, they got me. And then a beautiful blonde white woman came out from the back, right? And, um, and she said, Hey, uh, uh, are you the guy that I've been, I've been fucking, um, I've been, I've been texting. And I said, yeah, I think so. She was like, Oh, you finally made it. 
And then I looked around, right, and I saw like five or six cameras mounted on the ceiling. And I ain't even gonna lie, as bad as shit was looking, I wasn't even fucking scared. <laughs> I was already into fucking deep, all right? And the ghost of I don't give a fuck took over my body. But listen, it got fucking worse. The bitch said, before we go to the back, I'm gonna need to see your ID. And I was like, what? She said, uh, she said, yeah, I'm gonna have to take your ID. And I said, uh, nah, I'm good. I mean, why, why the fuck do I gotta give you my ID? And she said, well, we asked everybody for the ID for our safety. And in my head, I said, we. So I looked around again and, um, like I said, I was already too fucking deep, right? I was I was in the motherfuckers. I was already on camera. I'm pretty sure the fucking hut got my fucking license plate when I pulled up. I was like, fuck, man. If they got me, they fucking got me. But like I said, they got to catch me. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, I felt like I was already caught. So I just gave the bitch my ID. And I just said, fuck it, let's just see what the fuck happened next, man. Let's let's just see what the fuck is about to happen. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, nigga, are you not well? And the answer to that question is, no. I was horny as fuck. And I know it's insane. I know it's crazy, but deep down in my balls, I still felt that that might be a slight chance that I still may be able to smash this bitch, right? So she took my fucking ID and she disappeared to the back. Um, she was gone for like maybe fucking two or three minutes, right? And while she was back there, I didn't know what the fuck she was doing with my shit. Like, is she making copies of my shit? I mean, I don't know what the fuck was going on. Was she calling my shit in to the police? What the fuck? was happening so like i said like two or three minutes later she came back with my id and she said you got the money right so i gave the bitch the hundred dollars and she said okay and then she said now you can just follow me to the back so i followed her to the back right and at this point i was thinking um this is why we're walking and shit we're walking past a couple of little closed doors and shit and at this point, I was thinking, um, either this is an elaborate sting operation, or I'm about to get ate by this white bitch. It's some dude named Bubba that's gonna hit me over the head, and some fucking uh, uh, suburban white family will be feasting on some hood nigga casserole tonight, plucked from one of the finest ghettos in America. I couldn't let that shit happen, man. So I'm thinking like, okay, I gotta get my fucking, I gotta get my fucking fist ready just in case some motherfuckers jump out on me. But what if it's the police and they fucking beat me down and start tasering me and shit like how they did on fucking Blade 2? Remember when Blade was getting hit with them fucking bang sticks and shit? Is that shit gonna fuck? I don't know, man. I was thinking about all this fucking shit. But while she was walking in front of me and shit, right? I happened to look down at her fucking booty. She was in some fucking jeans and shit, right? Some real tight ass fucking jeans. And as I was looking at that fucking big ass white booty, I said, you know what? She, she seems like a nice girl. I mean, she, <laughs> she wouldn't fucking, she wouldn't fucking do me like that. It was the power of the booty that was just changing my fucking mind and shit. So, we ended up in this fucking room in the back of the hut. And in this room, there was a couch and a little ass bed, like a little ass twin bed or some shit, right? So I sat down on the couch and she left out the room and she left for about five minutes, right? And then when the bitch came back, she had on a robe. And I said, wait a minute. Nigga, I think I'm really about to fucking fuck. I... I I, I was like, maybe this shit ain't a fucking sting operation. I think I'm really about to fuck this bitch for this hundred. 
You know what I'm saying? So, so I kicked off my fucking shoes and I started unbuckling my pants. And in a motherfucking hurry, I was in my motherfucking boxers, dick on swole. And the white bitch, she sat on the um on a fucking bed and she still had the fucking robe like wrapped up real tight around it and shit and she was like you ready and i said uh yes uh yes i am and then she said well if you want me to take off my robe that'll be another fifty dollars and i said excuse me and with a straight face this bitch said um for another $50, I'll take my robe off. And listen, I don't know if I described this bitch yet, but she was a fine ass white girl, man. Like one of them bitches you see like in the in the magazines and shit. She was blonde, she had a thin waist, big sandbag ass titties, she had a moderate sized white ass. My dick was like, nigga, are you gonna give her the fifty dollars? Or do I have to do it? <laughs> so, as much as it hurt me, right, both spiritually and financially, I gave the bitch the fifty dollars, and then she left the room for a few more seconds. And I'm assuming she left the room to fucking um to fucking stash the cash or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm pretty sure that's what she did. And then, she, and then she came back in and she took the fucking robe off, right? But when she took it off, she had on a black lace bra and some black lace panties. And to be honest, it looked fucking scrumptious. But I was a little pissed because this whole time, I thought she was naked underneath that shit. And after she took the roll ball, she looked me dead in my eyes and said, if you want me to take my bra off, that will be another $50. And I looked her dead in her eyes and I said, are you fucking kidding me? I said, what about the panties? She said, that's another $50. I said, hold up, 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 hold up. I just came here for some ass, not a fucking strip tease. How much for some fucking ass, bitch? And then, um, and then she said, for me to take the bra and the panties off, that's a hundred dollars. And for extras, that will be another two hundred dollars. And at that very moment, at that very fucking moment, I understood why that was fucking cameras all over the fucking ceiling and why there were so many signs and shit all over the place and why she asked me for my fucking ID because it was insurance so I wouldn't whip that bitch's ass I started putting my pants back on right and as I put my left leg in the pants that hundred and fifty dollars I already spent flashed before my eyes and I knew that there was no way that I could leave that hut with a full fucking sack. So I said, listen, um, I already gave you $150, right? So you can keep the panties and the bra on. And can you just rub your pussy while I jerk off real quick? And this bitch said, well, that will be another $100. I said, bitch, I ain't got no more cash. And she said, well... Um, I have a credit card machine. <laughs> and when she said I have a credit card machine, I wanted to kung fu the shit out that bitch. I mean, a hundred dollars to fucking jerk. Bitch, jerking off is free. So long story short, right? I got the fuck out of there and I was a hundred and fifty dollars poor. And my ball bag felt like it was about fucking like two times heavier. So, I got robbed without a weapon. Matters facts, the bitch did have a weapon. The bitch had a weapon, and her weapon was pussy. You know the saddest part about this whole shit? 
is when I got back to my car for a whole fucking 10 minutes, I sat there thinking, who do I call, like, <laughs> the police, do I call my niggas, fuck it, do I call the Ghostbusters, who the fuck do you call when you get fucked over by a hoe, so, to all the people that don't know what happened to me, I got caught up in a fucking upsell scam, you guys ever heard of that shit, I got caught in a fucking upsell scam by a fucking rub shack, okay, and when this shit happened to me, I was fairly fucking, um, new to the toot game, you know, and by the time I realized what the fuck was happening, it was already too late, and believe it or not, this whole upsell shit, it exists because innocent, horny men like myself get caught up in these fucking scams every fucking day because women know exactly what the fuck to say and how fucking easy it is to manipulate a man that has a hard dick. That's correct, right? And listen, I want you guys to know, um, I want you guys to know how you can fucking tell, uh, like a fucking, a scam, like when you on fucking, you know, whatever fucking escort site you on, the scams are fucking everywhere, you know, I want to let you know how you can tell what is a scam and what isn't, I'm trying to think, like, to be honest, sometimes it's fucking, it's fucking hard to tell what's a fucking scam and what ain't, I mean, it, it's some very elaborate shit on this shit but i'll just tell you some obvious shit to look for um okay like i said on the previous video if it looks too good to be true most times it is i mean take a close look at all the bitches photos you know what i'm saying and make sure that all the pictures add up make sure all the pictures are the same bitch because you be looking through the pictures sometime and it be like a light-skinned bitch. And then you get to the bottom. It's like, who the fuck is this fat bitch? You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck is this black-ass bitch right here? So, you know, you got to you gotta look through the fucking pictures, man. And make sure that you, you know, seeing the same bitch over and over and over again. Um, because sometimes, to be honest, man, uh, sometimes fat hoes steal pictures of skinny escorts from other sites. Like... Well, not even other sites, like, from, they steal, they steal, uh, skinny bitch pictures from, like, um, hoes that live in other states and shit, and they use those shits as, like, they profile pictures and shit, so you gotta look out for shit like that, because you know how fucked up it is when you think you're looking at a fucking, um, nice, um, fit bitch, you know what I'm saying, and you show up to a fucking house and shit, and when you get to the fucking house, fucking grimace from mcdonald's is waiting for you at the fucking door that's some bullshit i mean this shit happened to me before i think i talked about this shit i call that shit fat fishing okay and um some of these hoes they also use like fucking like profile pictures from lesser known models and shit so you know just just look out for shit like that man you know you get to a fucking you get to a fucking hotel and shit, or you had a bitch come over your house, and when you fucking get there, you know what I'm saying, this bitch look like fucking Kevin Durant, so now you got a decision to make, because you spent fucking ten dollars on gas, you know what I'm saying, to get there and shit, and you already fucking there, so it's like, do you fucking take that fucking L, and waste your fucking gas money, and your fucking time, or do you fuck Kevin Durant? What the fuck do you do? It's really an L either way. But I think you'll be fucking better off taking that fucking L with the fucking money. You know what? Nah, you might want to just go ahead and just fuck the bitch if she look like Kevin Durant. I mean, fuck it. I mean, that shit's happened to a lot of us, I'm sure. It's fucking happened to me fucking multiple times. What else can I tell you guys? Uh, okay, here's a fucking helpful trick, fellas. Um... If you doubt that a bitch that you're looking at on one of these escort sites is really the bitch, if you look at the picture and you're like, man, I wonder, I wonder if this a real picture, what you can do is you can do a reverse Google search. So go to Google and do a reverse, do a reverse image search, right? And you can find out if that picture really belongs to somebody else 
and you can fucking find out where the fuck that picture came from. Because a lot of mo- a lot of these motherfucking bitches, man, they just be fucking stealing other people's pictures and shit, and putting that shit off like that's fucking them, and it's fucking not. Um, what else? Also, wording is very important. Okay, for example, eighty-five percent of all the fucking escort shit that's Asian is complete bullshit. I skip past all that Asian shit. You know what? Now I think about it, it's probably about 95% of that shit is bullshit. Or maybe more than that. All that Asian shit is some garbage. I mean, you fucking, you fucking think you're going there to get a fucking Lucy Lou? Nah, you get there and you got fucking mama son. You got the fucking, some fucking old Asian bitch. And you still do it. Just because you're a man, you still fuck her. Or you still get a fucking hand job. But that's how they do it. It's always a fucking really old Asian bitch trying to look young. The fucking Asian lady can be 50 or 95. Sometimes it's hard to tell, man. Them fucking Asians, they, they age very weird. And, um, what's another fucking thing, man? Any fucking white hoe. Here's another one. Any fucking white hoe now that's talking about that she is divorced or she's a fucking college student. That's all bullshit. Never click on that shit. Okay? Never click on that shit. Here's another one, right? If a bitch's ad says no law enforcement or no African Americans, then that shit is real, my nigga. Any discriminatory shit is real. Those are the hoes that you try to fuck, okay? <laughs> fuck it. Fuck all the hoes that discriminate on motherfuckers. Uh-uh, no Mexicans. Yeah, try to fuck her. You know what I'm saying? Try to finesse your way into that fucking puss. No police. Try to finesse your way into that fucking puss. Well, you don't really got to try to finesse your way into a puss. You just got to not be a fucking police officer. But listen, if there are some police officers listening, because I've heard um, a few of my homegirls that be escorts and shit, they was like, yo, police officers, they be coming through trying to get pussy too. So listen, you know what I'm saying? Just... Just use your power, you know, in another way. Shit, I don't fucking know. So, yeah, man, always try to fuck those hoes. <laughs> Here's another one, man. Any hoes that got, like, a lot of misspelled words and poor grammar in their fucking post and shit, those hoes are real. <laughs> those are the hoes you try to fuck, okay? If she can't spell there. Fuck it. What, what's another word hoes be fucking up? Let me see. I can't even fucking think right now, man. They be like fucking, um. Damn, I can't even think of no fucking shit right now, man. I'm trying to think because I be seeing shit all the time. I be seeing misspelled words. I'm like, oh, shit, this bitch is real. All these fucking typos and shit. This is a real bitch. Another thing, man. If the background of her profile picture looks like it's stank, that hoe is real. And that is a hoe you need to be trying to fuck. Okay? If a if a bitch if a bitch sends you a selfie or gives you like an email and shit to contact that bitch, then listen. That's some bullshit. Stay away from that shit. Alright? Because when she sends you the fucking, um, like, okay, contact me at this email, that should be a fucking huge red flag, um, because that's how they, they, like, they spam the shit out of you and shit, right, and then they can, like, get, like, extra little information from you and shit like that, like, through your email, like, your fucking real name and shit like that, so, you know, just be real careful with that shit, because I know everybody has a fucking alias, you ain't out here talking about, hey, my name is fucking James, um, James Smith, no, you, you fucking... You fucking dirty dick 19 or some shit like that. I already know, nigga. Use your fucking alias, man. You send that fucking email, they might get your fucking real name. So just be real careful about that shit. Um, what else these hoes be doing? I be seeing all type of shit. Um, oh, anything where hoes be like two girls special or, you know, come hang out with me and my girlfriend or some shit like that or two some, you know, all type of shit like that. Watch out for that shit because chances are you might get robbed or you might get your ass whooped. But that's kind of like a double-double. You're going to get your ass whooped and you're going to get robbed. You know what I'm saying? 
because these hood hoes know how to fight, man. They might have a knife, they might have a gun, you know what I'm saying? Nobody got time for that. I know you might be thinking like, man, I'm a strong big man, you know what I'm saying? I wish a bitch would try to I'd knock a bitch out. Hey, man, you got to watch out, man, because <laughs> shit, man, these, some of these hoes be cold with these motherfucking, um, these motherfucking knives and these fucking blades and shit, man. You got to... You gotta watch out for that shit, especially in Chicago, man. These hoes is, hey, listen. These hoes fight like niggas, man. Be careful. Watch your, watch your motherfucking back, man. Or the hoes might try to, like, tie you up or some shit or drug you or some shit like that or have some other niggas, you know, try to whoop. You know, you gotta you gotta be real careful when it say it's two hoes, you know what I'm saying? I like to look for hoes that say shit like, oh, I'm independent and shit like that because a lot of these hoes be having pimps and shit, too. So, you know, just be careful, man. Fuck, the motherfucking pimp might try to rob you, and then you beat his ass, though. You know what I'm saying? But, like, if it's two of them, you know, you might have a... You might have a fucking problem, man. I don't want nobody out here getting fucking hurt. Um, Let me see. What else I got, man? I'm trying to think what else these hoes be doing. You know what, man? In the comments section, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can tell me some shit that y'all notice. I can't even fucking think right now, because I want to get to the fucking main event, man. You know what? Fuck... Fuck all this shit because I promised you guys that I had a special fucking treat. So I wanna I wanna get to that shit right the fuck away, man. You know what I'm saying? Um and plus I don't want this fucking video to be long as fuck because it's already like what, about 20, 30 minutes in. I don't know, I ain't fucking counting, man, but I know this shit is fucking long as fuck. I promised that I was gonna fucking do like a fucking short story, but this shit always fucking happens to me, man. I just I just be fucking rambling and shit, man, but, anyway, um, this right here, man, hold on, let me change up right fast, this, this is fucking special, hold on, <clears throat> this right here has been actually a long time fucking coming, right, but I finally, finally got the chance to interview a young lady that I've been waiting to interview for a long while now and if you are one of the people that follows my stories and you interact like on youtube and shit like through the comment section you might actually know this young lady from the fucking comment section <laughs> you know exactly who i'm talking about man this bitch right here oh my god man this bitch right here like so if you look at your screen right now at this very point right here uh doing this conversation i am going to post um a picture of one of the comments that she put in the fucking comment section on one of my videos so you guys can see the name and so that you guys could fucking um see if you remember who the fuck she is because she pops up you know from time to time on some of my videos in the comment section and you know uh, some of the guys be trying to holler and shit like that. So, I mean, you know, look right there, right? You see it? She looks familiar, right? So, I got her. Like, I got her, like, in an interview. And the thing about it is, um, she doesn't live in Chicago. So, I couldn't do a face-to-face. -face, but, I figured out a fucking way, right? I hooked my shit up to my phone, and we did a fucking phone interview. And the thing about this fucking phone interview is my audio sounds fucking great. But her audio, on the other hand, sounds like it's a fucking phone interview. So turn your devices up and listen close because I don't want you to miss not one single part of this fucking interview, man. And I'm going to be honest. This is hands down the greatest interview I've done yet and you know what possibly possibly this is the greatest escort interview of all fucking time i mean even though i think i'm probably like the the only motherfucker in the world that does this shit like does anybody else interview um escorts and hoes and shit like or am i the only motherfucker i don't know man i don't be scouring the internet like looking for uh other people that do um fucking escort interviews i think i'm like the only motherfucker man i don't know we'll see but i do want to say this shit too man um by the end of our conversation i think i started to fall in love with this fucking girl man because you know it, it it's really not because the fact that she's a freak or the fact that she's fucking 
beautiful. I think it's the fact that she was just so fucking comfortable being who the fuck she is. I mean, it's something just really attractive about women being comfortable with being comfortable with who they fucking are like she, i mean she's very comfortable being a fucking hoe and that's just fucking refreshing you know just to hear a girl just say it just say it you know what i'm saying and that just felt so fucking refreshing man and by the end of the conversation i was like man i could fucking talk to this fucking girl all fucking day you know what i'm saying but i'm not going to give away any fucking spoilers you know what i'm saying but i will say get your fucking lotion ready you know what I'm saying? Get your fucking lotion ready because you're going to fucking need it. And also the picture that I'm about to post um, during the interview is actually a picture that she sent me that, you know, that she wanted me to post, you know, during this whole fucking interview and shit. Um, it's a very nice picture and I'm about to post it in a few seconds. So, guys, um, I don't know, man. I'm ready to get into this shit. I mean, I hope you guys are ready because this shit, <laughs> I really enjoyed this shit. So, all right, now, before I get started, I want to do a very proper intro. So, hold on. <clears throat> let me, let me, let me do this shit the fucking right way. Let me try something new. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. On today's new episode of Hopra. I'm going to be talking to a young lady who claims she loves being a hoe, and she even leaves us with a shocking reveal that has never happened on back page stories before. So make sure you guys stay tuned. And all, oh, by the way, you get some pussy, 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 everybody get some pussy. <laughs> oh man, I love this shit, man. On with the fucking energy. interview you know what i'm saying and on this interview i got a special treat for you guys okay um you may know her from the comment section <laughs> this is a comment section interview right here and we're doing this shit over the phone so you know what i'm gonna let you introduce yourself because i don't want to fuck your name up hi everybody i'm Sana. how is everybody okay so how do you say your your last name, Alatabi? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty. Um, I don't. So what's your ethnicity? Uh, it's you. You're Persian, right? My mom is Colombia, Colombia, and my dad is Arabic. Ah. Okay. This is this is unique. Shakira. This, this is, is Shakira. Sh like Shakira. Yeah. Huh. Shakira, Shakira. Yeah, I like Shakira. Whatever yeah. happened to Shakira? She still makes music, right? Yeah. Hmm. All right, so I always start out with this question. And you probably know what that is. And that question is, how much? <laughs> okay, that's one of the questions I, um, okay, I'll answer it. So, how much for me is is based on your age and nationality. What? Um, personally, yeah, personally, I I don't want to be like to take you, but I've had my fair experiences that younger guys for me, it's not that fuzzy to meet with. Like some of them are vulgar, they're a little bit aggressive, they kind of like, you know, they act kind of gangster sometimes, they don't know how to talk to girls, so they come to me and... I just don't find them very pleasant, so I charge them a lot more because I just don't want to see them. But I'll be with them if they can pay that much more. And now, if they're older, like 29, 30, 35, 40, whatever, 50, I charge them a little bit less because they're pleasant, they don't make problems, they have wives, they have kids, they have jobs, they don't want problems, they just come in here, do their stuff, and then they leave. So it depends on that. And about the nationality, I don't see uh, Asians, I don't see whites, I don't see black people anymore. Um, but I've never seen white, I've never seen Asians, but I used to see like black guys. Um, 
So, yeah, I only see, like, Latinos and Arabs, Indians, Persian, um, Nepali, same like that. Okay, now I have to I have to dig deep into this shit because this is very into I've never heard no shit like this before. So, okay, first of all, where where are you calling from? Uh, Virginia. Virginia. Okay. Mm-hmm. So now we're talking about Virginia men. I I have to just narrow this shit down. So, okay, I asked you how much now. So for a quick, let's just talk about a regular guy. Let's say he's fucking what, thirty two? Just, mm-hmm. just a regular mm-hmm. guy, you know. For a quick. How much? That I don't I don't wanna say like prices, you know. It depends. Jeez. I have like regulars and they get like a whole different price, like a whole lower price as I, I see them. I have two guys that I see so often that their price is something that is really low but i don't mind it we go out they're friends like we just kick it if it happens it happens they pay if no then that's whatever oh. so yeah it's, i don't want to talk about like the price price but okay, okay i got yeah, you so I, I see what's mm-hmm. going on here so you don't want to talk about the price because you don't want to make nobody feel bad you like hold on that motherfucker paid how much you know what i mean so i i get it, <laughs> <laughs> I uh-huh. get it because somebody's gonna have their fucking feelings hurt <laughs> Um, so by the way that you look and by the way that you are discussing these discreet prices, I know that 80 does not even exist on your thing. I'm just guessing. You don't have to say if it does or doesn't, but I'm pretty sure $80 isn't an option. That knocks me right out. I I will never get a chance. (sighs) Ah, fuck. Anyway. You know, Chris? Chris, I sleep to your stories. I I sent your stories to my uncle. My uncle loves you. I, I if I can't sleep, if I can't sleep, I put on your stories and I fall asleep to them. I would hook up with you for free. Oh wow, Jesus Christ! My plane tickets, yeah. uh, they <laughs> automatically just popping in my head. Jesus, well, your uncle. How old is your uncle? He's like 52. Oh, shit. He listens to this shit? Yeah, he's very open. He does it, too. He's open-minded. <laughs> that's, that's funny. So, <laughs> so we'll just leave away from the whole price thing. Now, I want to ask you another question I usually ask. And that is, I already know the answer to this question, but do you have a boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. I have a husband. Oh. And Cause I know he's you, a man. You, you mm-hmm. referred to him as your sugar daddy. That was so cute. No, no. You know, actually, he's actually broke. Like, he's so broke. And he knows this. He knows this. And I actually oh. told him about you. He, I told him about you, and I made him listen to your stories. <laughs> and he's... <laughs> He's open-minded, too. He doesn't live here in America. I tried to bring him here uh-huh. from the Caribbean. We couldn't do it, so I started to dance, and I was doing some online webcamming, and then escorting kind of came into the picture, and he's okay with it because mm-hmm. of the income. Right. Um, so he's open-minded. He's, he's really, like, open-minded. Yeah, man, because, you know, you know, men, you can't be too attached to the body like that. You know, you can't be too attached yeah. to the body. That's when you... You know, that's when you start to lose your fucking mind. You know what I'm saying? It's just a yeah. problem, you know? But, you know, yeah. you have to learn that. That's that's a learned thing after a while. You have to mature into that, you know, not being that attached to the body. So that's pretty mm-hmm. interesting. So he doesn't... So let me ask you this, right? So cause do you, you still escort to this day, right? I do, but not as often um, because... Not as often because I've got like other jobs. I got like a good income from webcamming. Oh. I have a pretty big fan base in the Middle East, so oh, that oh, covers oh. every one of my bills. So I don't need to do so much this going. But I really enjoy it. I love meeting people. I love my regulars. I love like um, like the experiences that I get with them. Some of them are really sweet, good guys that are ugly and they want like a girl or something or some guys are sweet or a little bit awkward you know 
So let me ask you this. So um, mm-hmm. is he allowed to get some extra vagina on the side or what's, what's going on there? I, to be honest with you, the way he is, the way he is, I could be wrong, but the way he shows me, like Amber Rose says, as long as I don't see it, my feelings aren't hurt. Um, but I really man. don't think, I don't think that he does the other girls one because his situation over there is kind of really tight. He doesn't have time. He doesn't have money. Um, he has no girlfriends because I don't let him. Um, but I don't, he doesn't go out and he's obsessed with me because he thinks I'll find somebody else. So he's kind of obsessed with me. So he doesn't really oh, like do things with like, I mean, have you he's seen really yourself? Loved. Jesus Christ. Oh, you, you've you. seen yourself. You know, I understand <laughs> the obsession that he has. Jesus. Oh. Thank you. But when we go to strip clubs or when we're over there in Dominican Republic, I, we go out, we get girls over there. And I made him do crazy things with a girl. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm open minded too. Save that shit because we're gonna talk about that in <laughs> just a little bit. Um so I wanna I wanna move on to another question because I, my my brain is is filling up with shit and I wanna put it all into like one little one little space when I get there. I don't wanna jump around too much. So hold on. So now, about this escort thing, I ask this question mm-hmm. a lot, too. Do you do this, do you do it for money, or do you do it for pleasure? I do it for money. Uh-huh. Um, you know, I do it for money. And then also, I realize that sometimes when I, when I used to fuck a lot, like maybe five or not five so like three four or five maybe sometimes it would be like seven or maybe sometimes it would be like one a day like that but i got used to like having sex a lot in a day so because when i wasn't i would get super horny i remember and then i wanted to verbatim you said this you said i like being a hoe what the fuck yeah. does that mean help me like i love I love my body. I love my booty. I love my boobs. I love guys checking me out, spending money on me. I love it. Oh, man. I love being home. So hold on. So that, so that makes you feel sexy. Yeah. Plus, I mean, look, there's two types of girls in this world, okay? And I'll say this even to my my mother-in-law, and she gets on me all the time because she loves putting me on Google, but. There's two types of girls in this world, like ones that are free and then ones that are not. I could be one or the other, oh, and I don't want to be the other. Do you guys hear this shit? This man, they don't make them like this. Oh, oh, my oh God. thank you, Sarah. I'm such a fan of you. Oh. As soon as I saw you heard your first story, I was like, subscribe but right away. <laughs> this is, <laughs> oh, man. And then the way that she looks, this is they don't make them like this. Oh man. So all right, so you you kind of answer one of the questions I wanted to ask you about like um how many dicks have you had in one day? Now I heard you get up to seven. Mm-hmm. Does it exceed yeah. that amount? You know, I don't think seven I did, but I think five or six I did oh, one time like six? like hmm. you know like that but there's some days like some days like today i only got one right right and i would like to get like four more and it's i'm not thinking about the money oh, right now wait a minute about, you said you would like to get four more now you liking to get four more <laughs> is, is that for money or you would just like four more dicks four more dicks with oh, the money to put where the fuck is my lotion <laughs> Where is my lotion? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, so how many guys have you ever fucked at one time? Don't kill I... me. Do not kill me. Go ahead. I don't really like this, you know. I don't like groups, but I did two guys two oh, times. Holy and god. and it was just it was just so really kinda gay because 
was basically in my ass and in my mouth and in the other. Oh my god, and the other my guy nipples are busting off my fucking chest. I think I'm lactating. Is this milk coming out my nipples? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh shit. Raul, Raul, fetch me my lotion. <laughs> Holy shit. Now hold on. Now, I, I, I ha- now hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. <laughs> Now, I have to get a little serious because I need to hear about this shit. Um, people have called me, instead of calling me Oprah, I've been called Hoprah. And I kind of like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm Hoprah, you know, because I talk to hoes. Now, mm-hmm. about this, about this, I don't, I don't want to call it a train. That's so disrespectful. About this. What do I call it? Let's see. This this look what well, fuck it. What happened? I don't know what to call it. Um, it wasn't it wasn't that big to be honest. Um, it was just me going to a hotel, okay, everything happened. It was just a lot of repetition. It was like a little like one, two, three, one, two, three. Like switch, okay, stick in my mouth, okay, stick in my mouth, and then they switch places, and I'm kissing the same guy where I just like the other guy's dick. It was just really awkward. I don't like it, personally. Oh, man. It, it, it's so for one on one. What happened to the cum? Where did the cum go? I think the. I think one of the guys came in the other guy's mouth because he thought it was mine. What because the I fuck? I am exiting this conversation immediately. <laughs> right away. I'm out of there. I don't need his shit. I don't need to hear shit else. I'm out of there right away. So, next question. Do Have you ever offered bear, like, you know, raw dick? Mm. Have I ever offered it? Um, I know, I yeah, know it's been, been proposition to you, of course. But. Yeah, yeah. And I hate when guys are like, oh, it, this, this would feel so much better without the condom. And then they wait for me to be like, oh, yeah, take it off. Of but that would never happen, you know. Right, right. But, um, um, yeah, there's some guys I don't mind hooking up, like, without it. But it's like one or two, you know. But... Other than that, no, I don't really like it. I'm, I don't do kissing. Right, right. I don't do, like, too much hugging or stuff like that. It's just, okay, let's, you know, do it, but it doesn't have to be so cold. But it also isn't going to be like, okay, tongue down my throat, you know? Mm. So do you – I have to say that my, my dick has uh, put his hat on, it's packed his bags, and it's actually left the fucking room after that fucking – that fucking coming in the other guy's mouth shit. Oh, man. <laughs> my dick said, fuck this shit. I'm packing my bags and I'm leaving. And, of course, when I say I packed his bags, the bags were my nuts. Um, anyway. Um, holy shit. So, no bear. So, what won't you do for any amount of money? I want... Um, now I think was it the last girl she said that she would let somebody squat over her and take a nice shit on top of her chest that's you know that's okay like if it was the right price it's okay I have a dog she's a puppy she shit on the floor like really bad and I cleaned it up and the oh, smells in it about to say your dog took a shit on your chest I was about to say <laughs> Fuck it. Where's my lotion? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You know, I I tell you a little story about shit, if okay. you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So there was this one guy from Saudi Arabia, and he was. It's kind of important for me to say, and I'll tell you why. He was just really weird, but he he was basically he came to me and he was like, hey, I never had like a close experience with my mom or nothing like that. I never had a mom hug me, love me, so I wanted to be my mom and tell me to do stuff. So I was like, okay, fine, eat my pussy. So he ate my pussy, and then I told him to fuck me with my dildo. So he was start, he started fucking me with my dildo, and then my poop came on the dildo, and I told him to fuck the dildo with the poop on it, and he did that. What the fuck? Well, see, this is the thing, right? This is the thing about me. Um... <laughs> When men are around hot women, 
everything is just thrown out the window. Even other men nutting in other men's mouths. That it just weird shit happens. You know what I'm saying when they're around hot women. So this this makes fucking sense. <laughs> Have you ever seen two girls one cup? Yes, I don't tell me your thing. It was delicious. Um, wow, he did that <laughs> shit. I can't believe a guy did that shit. Yeah, I, I felt like I needed to stay like five feet away from him after that because I was like, I don't know what else he'll do. So hold on. So do you do anal sex with these guys? With uh, like you know what they uh, tricks, Johns? I don't know what you like to call them. Um, no, I, I can, I can, but I don't really like to because it kind of hurts, but I can do it. If, you know, there's a, like an agreement before, right. um, but yeah, I can do it. I don't really like to do it because some of them don't know how to do it and it hurts, but a lot of Arabic guys who are used to doing that stuff back in their country because that's what right. they can do. They know how to do it to a point where it's not going to hurt. And there's like, there's a way to do it. So, it won't so hurt. hold on, so hold on. So really, really quick. So what, what's the technique? Uh, the technique is, well, basically, you're not supposed to like put it in slowly. You're supposed to like put the head in like a little bit and then take it out and then put it in a little bit more and then take it out. Not take it all out, but take it a little out and then put it in slowly, take it out. And so, like, the whole dick is in eventually. It's not just put the dick, the whole dick in slowly. Oh, That's what yeah. most of the people do, and I, and I hate that. Oh, okay. Well, I learned something fucking new today. This is, huh. I usually just jam it right in. But, okay. I, 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 I guess I was, <laughs> I was like, fucking bitches up. I think by home. Yeah, just fucking bitches up, man. Okay, so, um, <laughs> we're, we're kind of close to the end of my little questions i wanted to ask you what else i want to oh so what's your favorite type of dick you know because there are a lot of types of dicks there are dicks with curves there are fucking long dicks dicks with that shitty uh fucking um skin the you know i like dicks that are that are curved at a 90 degree angle at a 90 degree So, so you pull out a fucking protractor and you start fucking <laughs> like, like a boomerang. <laughs> you like boomerang dicks? Holy shit! Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I like average dicks. Um, I have I have some people that their dicks are really, really, really small, and <laughs> I don't care. I don't care really. I, I enjoy all of them. I don't discriminate. Just like a pussy, you know. For guys, all pussies are beautiful. Right, right. For me as a girl, I don't think Wait, so. Hold on, think... hold on, hold on. Not, not all pussies are beautiful. I have to stop you right there. I've seen some some shit. Well, I'm happy you have standards. Some people, they're so nasty. They they fuck any like pussy. They don't even care. Now, like... <laughs> now I fuck some monsters. Now <laughs> my dick is ashamed of me, but. <laughs> for the most part, you know, I, I, I try not to, but I've seen some awful vaginas. All vaginas yes, are not you. created equal. Thank you. Oh, my God. I'm so happy you're saying that because some guys, like, they're like, oh, that's such a cute pussy, and the pussy looks disgusting. But for me, all most dicks, like, some are cute. Okay, some are nice, but if you turn the lights off and you don't see it, I don't know. They feel good. Even small ones, big ones. I mean, I know. Cause I, I think I talked about this before, but I mean, uh, no homo before I say this. But I, when I watch porn and I see, like, a shitty dick, I turn it. I cannot watch that fucking scene because of the dick. So. Oh, yeah. You know, or when the dick is pink on the top. I, I hate terrible dicks. I'm sorry. No homo. Just in my porn. But. Yeah, you know, maybe it's, I, I know it's more guys out there that be watching porn and be like, "Yo, what the fuck is wrong with this dick?" And then they just fucking leave. So it's not. Just me. So the last thing I want to ask you is, um, can you please tell me your craziest, like, whether it's a request or just a story that stands out in your mind um, about your time with, you know, one of these guys? Mm. Crazy as 
back page story or you know whatever the, site that you the, know. And the craziest. Oh, I don't. Thank God, I don't get any crazy people. Well, okay. Two two stories, I guess. One, they're not that crazy because I don't know why. I don't I don't get crazy people, and I'm so thankful because you know when they come in here. I don't know too much about them besides their age and nationality, so I always pray that they're not crazy because I don't like drama. I, I don't want anything to happen in here. I've had, like, one situation where I got robbed, and it was fine because I kind of always was... I'm always prepared for it, you know? I mean, I'm not saying, like, anybody will rob me or something, but right. um, I was kind of prepared for it. Like, I I used to... Okay, I'll say this. Like, I don't, I don't discriminate, but I don't like white dicks. I think the pink head is weird, oh. and the Asian people—I can't take it. But <laughs> now, I this whole Asian thing—I thing, have to stop you for a minute. This Asian thing—I tried to just breeze over, but this Asian thing is very fucking funny. What's wrong with Asian dicks? So there's this cop that knows me very well, and he's Asian, oh, he's shit. Korean, and he looks literally like. He he literally looks like he just came to the country. Like he has like a like a fresh face, and but he's not. He's a cop, so I just don't trust him after that. Uh, I don't trust Asians after that. So you he know? fucked you up with all Asians. Yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> but yeah. So I used to say black guys, and so I had one horrible experience with like a black guy, which was like my fourth black guy. And uh, what ended up happening is everything happened fine. He came in here, we did what we had to do, and then I was, like, turned around, you know, putting my clothes on, and he comes up really close to me from the back, and he was like, hey, uh, I'm going to take this back and give me what else you have. And I and I just looked at him, and I was like, all right, that's fine. So I gave him something that I had, which was a decent amount for him to believe that's, you know, what I had to offer him. Right, right. But after that, I didn't, I didn't see black guys anymore, and I feel like, and listen, like, okay, I'm it's not... totally, I, I totally understand, you know what I'm saying, because um, I think I talked about this before, but I, I, I'm i mainly, my homegirls are like strippers and fucking um, <laughs> like escorts and shit like that, and I said I like to talk to them mostly because they, they keep it real, I like talking to real motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, because a lot of girls, they just too <laughs> stuck up and shit, and I got this homegirl, she actually got robbed. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the guy took like her, 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 um, her roommate's laptop and shit like that. So after that, she stopped fucking with black guys, except for me. You know what I'm saying? And it it made yeah. sense. You know what I'm saying? It made sense because you know it's kind of trauma after that because you never know. Because a lot of uh, girls always tell me that they don't like to fuck with black guys because you know you guys would agree on the price and then uh, you know he'll get there then he'll try yeah. to start lowballing and shit like well you know what i don't got this much but i do got this much so now i got it puts you in a dilemma because he's already there so it's like do you just take this little money he got so he can get the fuck out of there or do you tell him to leave mm -hmm. and that may piss him off because he didn't came all that fucking way you know so it puts you in a weird space so trust me i understand these fucking niggas mm -hmm. but go ahead yeah and, like, imagine if he leaves and he wants to make a problem for you, you know, stuff like that. So I would just take him anyways if that happened to me, you know, like if they didn't be on the price or whatever. I would just take him anyways if he looks kind of, like, aggressive, you know? Right, right, right. right. Um, so I take Latinos because I'm Latina and I feel like there's some, like, comfort there. And I take Indians, Arabic, because I'm Arabic and I feel like there's some comfort in there. Right, because those um, guys are very, like, loving and shit, right? Very, yeah, yeah. Plus you there's like some no layer in there. So, okay, another crazy story I would say. Um, there was one guy who came in here. I I thought he was 32, but I think I mixed him up with somebody else. He ended up being like 21 years old. I don't like to see 21 year olds, but he came in here. He took his clothes off. Oh fuck! He had MS13 on his chest. He had MS13 on his oh, back. Shit. He had MS13. Everywhere, and I was just like, okay, that's fine. Okay, lay down, put the loose the condom. Okay, great. Oh, oh my god. Okay, great. When he left, I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy he just left. I didn't want to take him out, but I was terrified. And after that, I blocked his number, and oh my god, I was like terrified of that. Um, another crazy story. Um, this one guy, he came in here. He was fine. Uh, we fucked everything, and then when he's putting his clothes on, he stands up. 
He freaking fell on the floor. He fainted. I thought he fainted, and then I was like, wait, fuck, what if he's having a seizure? Right. So I'm, like, checking him out, and then I'm like, wait, what if he had a heart attack? Like, I started panicking. I was like, oh, my God. But he still had some time left, so I was like, I'm just going to let him go here because he has time left. But after his time is over, he needs to get out. I wake him up. But he woke up. He was kind of like, okay. He didn't say anything. But after that, I didn't want to see him anymore because I'm like, okay. Now I'm questioning every person that comes in here. Do I need to ask them like about their medical record or something? So, you know. Hold on. So after this shit, <laughs> did you just have like this one glory moment where you went and you laid in the bed and you opened up your legs and you just gave your vagina a high five? Like you almost killed the motherfucker today. Did you? Do yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he said. That's what he said. <laughs> he was like, I jacked off before coming here. And I was just trying to, like, impress you or something. Holy shit. And I was like, you don't need to. So, hold on. Hold you don't on. How old was this young man? I think he was 29. He was, like, right in the line where oh I don't want to meet him. Oh, my God. He almost killed a fucking a millennial. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, man. This is the greatest interview of all time. Wow. I mean, Thank I you. You're so great. You got another one, another quick one, or what's up? Um, no, I think that was a bit of my crazy story. Like any, I don't. I'm so thankful I don't have that many crazy stories. Though. Like any crazy like request, like a foot job or ad. I, I think I told this story about this time. I, you know, I was having like this GFE experience with this mm-hmm. girl. It went a little bit too far. She gave me an ass job. Oh man, ass oh. job! <laughs> Nobody ever asked you for an ass job. Those are wonderful. Mm, no, no one's asking. Right, that's where you put like a little lube in between your ass cheeks and you rub the ass cheeks up and down the shaft of the dick. Oh, no, <laughs> no. I um, when people come in here, normally I'm dressed nice. I you remember that story where you were like um, uh, like her ass smelled really bad, and then oh. like. A, as sports girls, they are normally cleaner because yes. girlfriends get too comfortable. And yes. yeah, I showed I showed my husband that I was like, I was like, you see, like, that's what because me, I'm very very clean. I actually don't use toilet paper. I I wash after I poop and after I pee, or else I just don't use the bathroom. Like, and you use a lot of fucking baby wipes and shit, right? I don't use baby wipes. I just use like paper towels to dry. Oh. Um, but I use soap and water before. So I, I don't like the small baby wipes, but I do clean very good in there. And part of that is because I am an escort, and I like to smell good. I like to have my hair done, my makeup. I wear, like, short shorts when you come in here and a nice, like, tight tank top or something like that. I like to look good. Yeah, um, I mean, shit, you got to look at it like, you know, when you go to White Castle, it's like the cleanest restaurant. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're, like, what, yeah. uh, on the top 100 places to work? in America or some shit like that. I mean, you have to keep your vagina... Your vagina is your fucking office. You have to keep it clean. You know what I mean? So it makes yeah. sense. You know what I mean? You have to keep your yeah. fucking office clean because these regular... Uh, well, uh, quote-unquote regular girls out here, oh, my God, man. They, they be fucking terrible. I mean, there are some yeah. escorts that, that, you know, they don't take care of themselves. Mm-hmm. I, I, mean, I told this story one time about when I had to spray some fucking kaboom on my fucking... Dick. Oh my god! Oh, you said you had to shave your beard because oh something. shit, I had to shave my <laughs> fucking beard off because the vagina is it's something about a bad smell of vagina. You cannot get rid of that smell. You cannot. Mm-hmm. I had to cut the whole beard off. I had to throw the whole beard away. <laughs> I want to peel off some of my fucking skin and throw it away too. And and re, if I if only I was Deadpool, but. I think that's all I have as far as my questions. Wait, there is one more question I want to ask, and that well, two. I, I want to say one more thing. Yeah. There's there's one guy that I have. He's always requesting me to come in here. He wants to come in here and me with high heels, with a song, with a red song, and stuff. I don't understand why because I'm already I'm already like wearing like something attractive. Like I don't like when he asks like that much, you know, because so, it's not. So he wants to pull that to the side then, right? I mean, he can, but... Oh, shit. I don't know. I just... I'm already looking good for you. Like, now you come in here and you want, like, me in high heels and stuff. I just think that's too much, and I think that's just a little bit annoying. Oh, man. Yeah. Because, you know, 
pull it to the side. That's one of my favorites. Wait a minute. Who is that? Oh, shit. Is that my dick? Is it back with his bags? Holy shit. It's my dick. It's back. Come on <laughs> in, dick. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> but anyway, um, the last thing I want to ask you is, if your vagina could tweet, I don't know if you're on Twitter and shit, you know what I mean, but mm -hmm. Twitter or Instagram, if your vagina could tweet or gram, what would your vagina say? Um, what would it say? <laughs> um, I don't know, I guess, like, welcome or something, or we're open or something <laughs> like that. Welcome, we're open. It have a fucking little neon sign right over the clit. Open, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what the fuck it would say, but... So how would you describe your vagina? Is it tight? Is it loose? Is it mm -hmm. very wet? You know... Dry? You know... You know what? I would say... Um... Okay. I actually used to hate hair on my pussy because I used to hate, like, razor bumps, and then I got laser done, like, two sessions, right. and now my hair is patchy, so now I have to shave it. But actually, I love my pussy. You can go on my Twitter. I have like 60,000 followers on my Twitter. And you can see pictures of my pussy there. I'm also on Pornhub. You can see my pussy on there. I love my pussy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Did you say Pornhub? Yes. Wait. I make like. Three to four dollars or five dollars a day from Pornhub. Hold on, now I'm cheap. Not is there that. something on there for free? Yeah, all of it's for free. But hold I get wait, ads, hold so. the fuck on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Am I crying? Are these tears? What the fuck? Is this sweat or tears? Now hold on. What? Do, hold on. What do I type in? My first and last name. Oh my god! Did you hear that shit? Did you hear this fucking shit right here? Yeah, and then all those videos are me and my husband. He likes to do these stuff. He, wait, oh, wait, wait, hold on, wait a minute. There's fucking on that? Yeah, me and my husband. He's go, go, gadget, <laughs> lotion. Hold on. Go, go, gadget, dick. Go, go, gadget, lotion. I cannot wait to watch this shit. How am I not knowing about this shit? What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm such a fan. I will send you personalized pictures. Oh my God. I did not know that this shit existed. This is, this is, huh. oh my God. I think I'm about to fucking pass away like that young 29 year old man. Um, oh shit, I, I'm shaking and everything right now. I'm so excited. Jesus. I feel like going to sleep early and waiting, you know, like how you go to sleep early and you wait for fucking Santa Claus when you're a kid. I, I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> this is fucking amazing. I'm shaking right now. I'm so excited. Oh, oh man. All right. So, so you want to give out like a, I don't know, like an Instagram or something? I don't know. I don't know how private you want your shit. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. Yeah, I love my Instagram. I used to have another Instagram. It was like ninety three thousand, but it got high. So right. now I'm, I think I'm like twenty one or twenty two thousand now. Okay. So yeah, I was. Yeah. I think to get my fan base back up. But on Snapchat, I have like 250,000 on there. I actually, to be honest with you, I, I am like kind of like popular and everybody knows like I'm an escort. And when I went to the Middle East to visit my dad, actually I got arrested oh, and I went shit. to jail for like almost a month because I was like, that's a story you because my reputation. That's a um, yeah, but so, yeah, I'm, yeah, I, hmm. and, you know, I don't know if I told you this, but yeah, I told my husband, like, I was going to do an interview with you, and I was so excited, and he was like, yeah, go ahead, like, he, he supports me, um, but yeah, I'm going to text, should I text you my username so you can put it on the video? For sure, for sure. Okay, yeah, I'm such a fan, oh my God, can I save your number? Oh, yeah, of course, of course, most definitely. Man, I really appreciate, you know, you being candid and you talking about, you know, the shit, you know. I, I really yeah. appreciated it. I'm so, I, <laughs> I still can't believe that I'm about to go and watch this shit. I, 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 I can't even think straight right now. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, I did want to touch back onto that fucking, that fucking, um, that twosome, threesome shit. But nah, you know what? Fuck that shit. I, I need to get that shit out of my mind. <laughs> but, all right. Well, guys, what the fuck did I tell you? Can you believe that shit? I know some niggas that stopped listening to this shit like five minutes ago. <laughs> They stopped listening to this shit five minutes ago and went straight to fucking Pornhub. And I don't fucking blame you. Why the fuck are you listening to me when you could be fucking jerking off right now? I'm so fucking excited after this shit, man. I mean, on the fucking Pornhub, right? Like, she got like four or five videos. And I put some serious, serious wrist work in to all four or five of them shits. Now, I'm going to be honest. All of her videos got those red thumbs down on Pornhub. I mean, I don't really know why the fuck they got those thumbs down and the, the fucking percentages are real low for the fucking... I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. You know, I mean, it, it's fucking amateur porn. I mean, and for some fucking amateur shit, man, the videos are pretty fucking good to me. I mean, I read some of the fucking comments and people are pissed because some of the videos don't got audio... And, um, some motherfuckers are saying they don't like the way the dude looks that she's fucking and shit like that. And, you know, uh, I was reading this shit, man. The majority of the motherfuckers on there are just like some real petty Indian motherfuckers that just say, fuck this shit. I mean, I don't know the fucking Indian standards and shit when it comes to fucking porn, but they ain't feeling that shit. I mean, I'm fucking feeling that shit. That's some fucking quality ass fucking porn, man. I mean, that one video was she giving that fucking fire head. Did you see the... W oh, shit, man. Did you see the way her fucking mouth was just... It was no hands. All mouth. No hands. I mean, it was fucking... I would kill for just a piece. Oh, fuck. And did you see how she was riding that fucking dick, man? Like she was twerking on the fucking dick, man. Big ass. Big ol' ass, I mean. I mean, I, I, man. You guys owe me, man. You guys owe me for this shit, man. I put y'all fucking on, man. I put y'all the fuck on. Hey, and did you see her fucking doggy style and shit, man? Her fucking doggy style is fucking... Like, the arch that she puts in her fucking back, man. Like, she puts her fucking face all the way down. And the ass all the way up. Face down, ass up. Like, she had a fucking, oh, man, like a fucking C-shape. Like, that ass was up in the fucking air. And to make the fucking point even better is the fact that we know this bitch. Like, she's sexy and shit. And, like, she got that fat ass. I keep talking about her ass and shit. Like, she's sexy and shit. And there's even a fucking slight possibility that you, too, could get you some of that ass. I think that's what makes it so fucking good, man. I mean, this, this lady, she's a fucking national fucking treasure. I mean, I wish that... I wish that I watched the fucking porn first and then interviewed her, but I didn't know the fucking porn existed. Because then... If I did, I could ask her a few questions that we all are fucking wondering about certain things. Like, you know, like that fucking, the fucking tape and shit on the ass. What the fuck is that? If you are listening, let us know what the fuck was going on in that fucking, in that fucking video with the fucking tape in the fucking comments. I know you're fucking listening, uh, Donna. I know you're fucking listening. You know what I'm saying? Let us know in the comments what the fuck was going on with that tape. I'm assuming... You know what I'm saying? You just came from some type of fucking surgery. I don't fucking know, but it still was fucking beautiful. Let us know what the fuck was going on. I wish, I wish I could have asked you that fucking question so you could have fucking explained it because, I mean, the fucking porn hub community, they, they real fucking petty, man. They be looking for anything to fucking hate on them, but that fucking shit look good to me, man. I think I'm in fucking love, man. I mean, she's foreign. I mean, she got that big old booty. I mean, she's down to earth. Mm, I mean, what what more can you fucking ask for? Um, But we can continue this fucking conversation about this shit in the fucking comment sections because, listen, I can go on and on and all day about this shit, man. But make sure 
you follow our homegirl on these fucking social media sites. I'm about to fucking post them shits right here somewhere. Like all her fucking social media sites. Make sure that you follow our homegirl. Um, like I said, they're right here on the screen. And also check her out on fucking Pornhub, man. You will not be fucking disappointed. And if you are disappointed, fuck. I mean, let us know in the fucking comment section why you're fucking disappointed. Like, let us know what, what you fucking didn't like, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if you too are down to give her a little cash to see if you can get you a little ass. I mean, she say she don't really do it like that no more, but I mean, you might get fucking lucky, man. I mean, if the fucking, if the fucking price is right, I don't fucking know, man. She says she likes being a hoe. So, you know, test your fucking luck. I don't fucking know. And also, man, when you go to fucking Pornhub, it would be real dope if you jumped in the fucking comment section on fucking Pornhub and say back page stories brought me here or just say my fucking name just say you know Paris brought me here or fucking uh a uh, fucking back page stories brought me here that'd be fucking dope because i'm gonna fucking see that shit man i'm gonna be fucking looking at that fucking video and looking at the fucking comments man and seeing <laughs> and seeing how many motherfuckers really went and watched that motherfucking um video i just want to see you know how many fucking hits she can get off this shit man because uh, I know a decent amount of people, you know, listen to my fucking back page stories, and I just want to see uh, my fucking niggas represented in the fucking um, comment section on fucking pulling up, man. Underneath her videos, that is. Um, what else, man? Also, man, give her fucking videos a fucking thumbs up, man. She deserves it, you know? And by the way, uh, one of her videos, like, she's, like, playing with her pussy and shit, and listen... She has an amazing looking vagina. Like, it's very, very, um, what, what can I say? She has a cute fucking vagina. And also, um, to the ladies that's listening, I was just joking about me jamming my dick in the asshole. I don't just jam my dick in the asshole doing anal sex. I was just fucking around. I really actually just do like i i um what should i call i double dick i double dutch my dick into the ass i double dutch my dick okay so listen i'm not gonna fucking blow your fucking intestines out by jamming my dick in so i was just fucking playing i know how to fucking do anal sex okay um what else did i want to talk about man also before i get out of here um i wanted to let you guys know that all of November and December, I'm only busting in bitches' boots, okay? I'm a boot busser, all right? So for the next two months, when I fuck a bitch, as soon as I'm about to nut, I'm going to be like, bitch, bring your boot over here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to snatch the fucking condom off, and I'm nutting in a pair of boots, okay? I'm trying to get a fucking pair of Uggs pregnant. Fuck it. This winter, I'm getting a fucking pair of fucking Uggs pregnant, goddammit. You know, I'm gonna be dirty talking bitches. I'm gonna be like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, this pussy good, bitch. What size? Oh, what size shoe you wear, bitch? What size are your feet, baby? Oh, oh, shit. I'm about to bust, baby. Oh, give me your boot, baby. Open up your boot, baby. I'm about to. Oh, I'm busting in your boot, bitch. I'm busting in your boot, bitch. I'm a boot busser. Fuck it. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Bring me that fucking tongue over here. Bring that tongue over here, bitch. The tongue of your boots, bitch. Bring your boot tongue over here, bitch. <laughs> Open that boot up. Open up your fucking boot. I'm only fucking boots. Alright? And I know y'all fucking think uh I'm fucking around, man, but I'm busting them boots for the rest of the fucking year. I'm not fucking around, man. This is some real fucking shit. I'm bringing a whole fucking new meaning to the term tooted and booted. <laughs> you know what? I actually really did nut in an ex girlfriend's boot one time, like to get revenge. <laughs> what happened because after she fucking um what happened with that bitch oh it was after she ate some of my food right um i was i was saving some food in the fucking refrigerator and shit for when i got home and i was really looking forward to that fucking that goddamn peach cobbler man but this bitch ate my shit and to get revenge 
I nutted in both of her goddamn boots. So, but that, you know, that's another story for another fucking day, man. I really did that shit. That's why I started thinking about just busting them bitches' boots for the um the rest of November and fucking December. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? Also, I'm still looking forward to doing the fucking podcast, but only when everything lines up as far as the subscribers and shit. You know what I'm saying? You guys already know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get the 5K. Um, and speaking of shit like that, you know, you know, hit the fucking, hit the fucking subscribe button if you like what the fuck I'm talking about, man. If you like these fucking stories and you like these fucking interviews, hit the fucking subscribe button because I got more of this shit to come. You know what I'm saying? Or if you don't like the fucking shit, you know, hit the dislike button, man. I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't have to fucking subscribe. You know what I mean? You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. I mean, you know, it's your fucking... It's your fucking finger. Do whatever the fuck you want to do with it. Hit the fucking like button. Hit the fucking subscribe button. Hit the fucking I don't like this shit button. It's cool, man. It's your fucking life. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Um, And like I said, man, I got much more of this shit to come. And uh, shit. What else? Oh, also, you know, um, hopefully I can get a little bit more support, you know, with my fucking shit, you know what I'm saying, because I'm trying to get this fucking special moving along, you know what I'm saying, um, a few people that helped out and shit like that, but, you know, if you don't want to fuck with it, I mean, it's cool, I mean, if you don't fuck with it, I ain't gonna fuck with it, you know what I'm saying, I'm not adding shit else to that shit, man, I already spent enough money, so, um, if it don't happen, fuck it, it don't happen, I mean, shit, we'll just have to see, but, at the end of the day, man, I appreciate all you motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, thank you for checking out my channel, Shout out to all the fucking escorts, man, because y'all make the fucking world go round. I love you. All the people that's listening to this shit, we fucking love you, okay? Never stop fucking, okay? Never stop fucking. We need you. And that's all I got, man. So until next time, guys, toodaloo. Oh, and before I forget, you can also hit me up on my Instagram at Paris underscore Ratliff. Again, that's at Paris underscore Ratliff. That's my Instagram right there on the screen so you can see what the fuck it is. And, you know, you can hit me up and hit me in a DM, you know what I'm saying? And and ask me, like, you know, where, where the fucking hole's at? Because I've been telling you guys that I know this fucking site that has replaced Backpage. I'm not talking about Yes Backpage. I used to try to tell motherfuckers about that, but that shit didn't got a little fucking garbage. But I do know another site that actually may be a tad bit better than Backpage because they got, like, reviews on the hoes and shit like that. So you kind of know what the fuck you're getting into before you fucking get there. So if you want to know where the hoes at or you want to hit me up and just... You know, no, just ask me about anything. Hit me up and say what's up, man. Just hit me up on my DM. You know what I'm saying? That's at Paris underscore Ratliff. So give me a quick little follow on Instagram. Hit my DM. And I got you. We can discover these hoes together. Or you can.